Good morning everyone and welcome to Doc Training web series. My name is Sajan and I work for Doc365 Incorporated. Okay, so today I'll be explaining about Flow, Microsoft Flow integration with SharePoint. A lot of integration possibilities with Microsoft Flow and I hope most of them are using it efficiently. Probably you can ins uh, you can integrate um, OneDrive with SharePoint. You can integrate Dynamics CRM with OneDrive. Uh, I mean SharePoint. You can also integrate Dropbox with SharePoint. So there are a lot of lot of add-ons which I'll be demonstrating today. So these are most of the questions what we receive from our clients is like, how can you? you know get a workflow done for all this kind of uh, possibilities like let's say i put a file in onedrive and how do i get a copy of it in my sharepoint folders or document libraries basically so that's something that we already have this microsoft flow and uh, that's that's a that's a great platform where you can actually make use of it because Flow's business app helps users to track and manage their automated workflows and it's a very easy to use application which is going to help you to create, monitor and manage automated workflows between your web services, files and cloud-based data and you'll be able to create a flow to automatically capture, track and follow up with your, let's say your sales leads or automating notifications it's like informing your team when a work item is updated and you can create the flows that actually works for you so what you can do is you can create new workflows or there are templates basically in Microsoft flow which you can reuse them so as, as a starter as a rookie you can start using the templates and definitely when you pretty sure that you're gonna be a pro in it and then you start designing from scratch so what you can do is you can trigger flows to run at the tap of a button. So it's as simple as that because you just have to drag and drop. Just give the links of your SharePoint or you know your folders. You just have to direct to the folders and that's it. So it actually helps you do the rest of the job. And you also get to monitor if your you know your flows have been failed or something like that. So you can go and have a look at it and then you know act accordingly. You also get a detailed run history report so you know what are your files that's been going and if there's any issues it pops up and you'll also be able to filter and view the runs by notification type so these are the basic uh, or these are the main features of Microsoft flow which is also av available on your mobile devices so I strongly recommend you to go flip your phone go to iOS store or uh, Google Play basically and go ahead and search for Microsoft Flow, download it and then start working on it. So I think let's get started. So let's go to Microsoft Flow. So I'm gonna type flow.microsoft.com or what you can do is go to your Office 365, log in and then you'll be able to choose it from here. Here you go, so that's flow. You can see the icon over here. So the first time users, maybe you won't be able to see it. So what you can do is type flow.microsoft.com. You get to the login page, sign in Microsoft credentials, and then you're in. You can go through the website. That's the landing page you have, and it actually gives you an overview of what exactly flow is. So whatever I actually did the talking, right? So this is how it's gonna be, you know, define your process flows and then it's ready to go. A lot of templates for you to choose. So probably I'll, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on templates. And it actually shows you all the flows based on its popularity. So you can go and drill down based on your query right so let's go click on popularity and let's see what it has got to offer us so this is one of the flows like you can you know probably send a reminder in 10 minutes all and also have SharePoint related send approval mail when a new item is added so I'm gonna search for SharePoint because that's what we're gonna discuss about it today okay so these are some of the workflows and I've created a couple of them which I'll be showing you. Probably I'll show you two uh, workflows that I've created using Flow. 
so these are the couple of uh, SharePoint related workflows. You can integrate it with OneDrive for business, OneDrive, Dropbox, Yammer, um, Dynamic CRM as I showed earlier, it is also Box, and uh, Power BI, yes, Google Drive, and also you can pick up files from directly from your PC to SharePoint. And also have a Salesforce integration. Okay, so that's, that's a premium feature by the way. So there's more and more, um, but I just don't want to kill a lot of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my flows. I've created a few of them for the demonstration purposes. So these are the three uh, flows that I've created. So the first one is tracking new OneDrive for business file in an Excel table. Uh, which means basically, let's say I upload a OneDrive for, uh, file in my OneDrive for business. The next thing what happens is the file name appears on the Excel. I'll be, I'm really sure I'll uh, be showing it very shortly. And the next one is copying the files from OneDrive for business and SharePoint. So anything, you know, if I'm going to put the file on OneDrive for business, I get a copy of it on my SharePoint library. and it's vice versa. So if I have a file loaded on my SharePoint library, it moves to my OneDrive for Business folder. Same thing applies for Dropbox and SharePoint. So let's say I have a file here. The moment I drop in a file here, matter of a couple of minutes, it actually comes in my SharePoint folders. So that's three flows that I've created and I've been doing a lot of talking. So how, how about, you know, probably doing a demo so that gives you much more and more idea of what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and uh, these are the two scenarios that I'll be showing today I'm gonna click on copy files from OneDrive for business and SharePoint this scenario is very, very important for organizations where you know um, you probably want to share some files directly from your SharePoint or let's say it's a large artwork and you want to send it out to a third-party vendor for example um, let's say the file has been finalized by the marketing team they send it to the procurement team and they want to send it out to a vendor a third-party vendor whom they don't want to give an access to the SharePoint so what do you do normally what they do is they download the file they send it as an attachment probably they use some file uploading websites Upload it to that because the file sizes are large because they might use an Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop. So it's going to be huge and it's not going to go as an email attachment, right? So they probably look for file uploading websites, upload them, get the link and then share it with the vendor, which is not a very good practice and it is actually a security breach. So what you can do is now, as you heard, this latest news is that you have a great upgrade in terms of file single file upload right I am, I'm pretty sure you heard about it from a Microsoft announcement which is pretty cool and I'm sure that everyone can leverage it so what you can do is let's say the file stays in SharePoint and let's say they did all the checks and now they want to share it they probably make a copy of this file within a library in SharePoint which actually I can create a workflow let's say if the file has been created if it falls into that SharePoint library, it's going to give a copy directly to my OneDrive. And from there, you know, my regular users can take it from there and then create a link and then send it to the vendor. And it's secure too. So this is how I can copy files between OneDrive for business and SharePoint. So I'm going to de define the process basically. So let's say the first step is when a file is created. So this is my OneDrive for business and this is my SharePoint. Now, since I've already logged in, it actually doesn't, it doesn't actually, um, it's, it's already there. My, my settings has already been populated, so it doesn't ask me to log in with my user credentials. But the first time user, when you log in, it actually asks you for your SharePoint uh, admin access and your OneDrive access. And please note, you should be having an admin credential to do this task because if you're a regular user and if you don't have the you know you don't have enough privilege for your SharePoint folders, this is not gonna work for you. So let's say I have logged in with my OneDrive and I just have to choose my file site. Right? So I'm gonna show you how my OneDrive looks like. 
Okay, now OneDrive and SharePoint kind of looks alike. The only way you can find out is you know how to look at the top bar, basically Office 365 OneDrive, and here's an Office 365 SharePoint. So this is my OneDrive, and that's my files, right? I have a folder here, it says OneDrive and SharePoint Sync and I have a couple of files over here. So basically what I wanna do is I want to get my files, get copied between this folder and on my SharePoint library. So I'm gonna click on this file here, I mean folder here and let's see what we have got. So I have a couple of files here and let's see if this is the folder that I have already mentioned, yes. And then I click here. Yes, this is the folder where the file is created over here. The next step is creates a copy of it at my SharePoint site. So what I need to do is go to my desired SharePoint library. So let's say I have my sales reports, right? So what I need to do is get my file copied on my OneDrive. It has to go to my sales report. Let's say I'm a sales professional and I have a OneDrive for business linked on my mobile. I just have to drag in my report over there and then it automatically goes to my SharePoint because I'm kind of lazy to go and dig in uh, the particular document library because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of, lot of libraries in SharePoint and you know, because salespeople, they, they're really busy. They're always on the go. They really don't have the luxury to search for the folders. So what they do is, I think this should be a good idea. You just have one folder over there and just drop in their reports and then it goes to the SharePoint and then that's it. It's pretty much simple. So I've created a sales rep monthly reports document library. I have a couple of reports over here, right? So whatever I upload on my OneDrive for, Share, OneDrive for SharePoint sync folder, that's my OneDrive folder, I actually get a copy over here. So this is a process flow that I've created using Microsoft Flow. And what I do is I define this, I copy this link. So this is your SharePoint site link. I copy it, I paste it over here. And then I need to search for the folder. So what it does a quick run. Um, as I, as I informed earlier it has to be the admin uh, you should be having an admin credential otherwise this is not going to work because the user permissions is going to actually deny access and then you won't be able to do this effectively so now you have the link and it's it's already there it's it's accessing my sharepoint now i have the list of folders that i can access so what i can do is i go to my sales report and i have one more folder called sales rep monthly reports i'm going to click on that and then what are the files are so let's say I have a copy now what it has to what what's the kind of file properties that it has to re reflect in my SharePoint so basically is the file name and the file content so what I do is in the box I click on file name so I click here it actually populates over here automatically and then the next step update workflow and it says your flow was updated to close click done so it actually tells you to, okay, now you want to see it working, add a file, and then it should be ready to go. But please have some patience because it's not going to work within a second. You just give it some time and it should actually start populating. I click on done. That's it. The flow is already started running. So that's the flow I've designed. So let's go ahead and start working on it. So where do I go first? Um, Let's go to OneDrive and let's pull in one report. Okay, so that's my files here. I'm gonna take monthly update January 17, right? So I just drag it over here and then, okay, so that's in. So you can see here, it's a few seconds ago, uh, the user, yeah, I'm, I'm logged in as the admin. And yes, it's there. And let's give it some time and it should should actually populate. So that's how it works. So whatever files upload in OneDrive folder, it actually replicates on my SharePoint uh, library. And whatever I upload over here, it goes to the OneDrive folder.
All right, so I have my file listed over here. So, it, so it's really working, right? I have my file over here and it actually gets replicated on my SharePoint folder. So that's the first flow that I've created. So basically copying files between OneDrive for business and SharePoint. So I've actually done it right now. So what's next? Um, let's track new OneDrive for business files in an Excel table. So how about that? So let's go to my OneDrive. Now, what I've done is I have created a F Excel. It says list of files, SharePoint, OneDrive. Now, let's say uh, this is a perfect scenario for knowledge-based management team. What they can do is once a file has been, let's say I have uploaded a file in my OneDrive folder. Now I need to track, let's go ahead and click on track OneDrive for business files in an Excel table. So what happens here is, let's say if a file has been created in OneDrive, SharePoint sync folder, the next, next thing what it does is, the next thing what it does is, it actually goes to the Excel file that have linked with this flow, it reads through the table, that's table one, and it actually pulls in or pushes in the name of the file and the location. So what happens is like, as I mentioned, um, especially for the knowledge base management team, let's say have new, new files coming in, especially for credit unions and banks, you know, someone really needs to have an audit of the files that's been entering into the OneDrive or SharePoint folder, whatever it is. So here, the example I'm taking of is a OneDrive for business. And let's say whatever fi new files come into my system, it's always good to have an Excel in front of you ready, right? So it actually gets incremented or you get the list of items one by one, the files that's been entering into your OneDrive for or your SharePoint folder. You get an Excel of all the items. You can go ahead and print it. So you have a copy of the list. So you have a half the list of files that has been uploaded into these folders. And then you click on update flow, just I, as I did earlier and I click on done and then yes, that flow starts working again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my OneDrive. I'm gonna transfer one more file. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this time I've uploaded Sajin monthly update, August 16. Yeah, this is the one. Let's give it some time. It should actually go to my Excel file and then that should really work. Okay, so I have my new file or you know that I have got the detail of the file. It's already listed on my Excel. So I have the name of the file, I have the file location and yeah, I've, I've created an extra Power Apps ID kind of a thing. So, so these are two uh, parameters that I really want to track on my Excel. So that's there. So that comes to an end of the second flow that I have created. Um, there's plenty of them, you know, if I really wanted to uh, showcase, there's a lot of um, dynamic CRM, there's on Salesforce. There's also on marketing solution called a MailChimp. MailChimp is one of the leading marketing solutions. That's a free uh, tool that probably you can give it a try. So you can also integrate MailChimp with SharePoint, right? So there's a lot of features that you can really uh, work on. So you just have to go to Microsoft Flow and search for SharePoint and then you get a lot of templates. You can make use of them effectively. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any further queries, I would be happy to answer them. And also if you have any specific ideas or if you have any comments, please go ahead and you know comment on our video, just below the video, yeah. And also visit our website, www.mydoc365.com and you can find a lot of other SharePoint videos. You can go ahead and look at them and we have also posted doc specific videos that is our intranet portal which is a ready to go intranet portal built on top of SharePoint. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.